everyone, and uh, first of all, thank you, uh, organizers, for inviting me to give this talk, and I will speak about sound processing in smart home devices. Uh, I'm sure that not everyone here knows about Alango. We are not IBM, not Microsoft yet, so I will uh, uh, speak a little bit about our company. So we are a DSP a software technologies company for voice, audio, and hearing enhancement. We have about 35 people. We are in uh, Tirat Carmel uh, here in Israel, and we also have a small R&D office in St. Petersburg, Russia. So we have representatives uh, all over the world. And where's the, oops, where's the pointer? Yeah. And um, we've been around for uh, more than 15 years. We've given about more than 30 million uh, product licenses so far, and it's growing fast. And our main areas are automotive, uh, mobile and mobile accessories, conferencing, hearing enhancement, assistive listening, and today also uh, pre-processing for automatic speech recognition. So we've seen in our, you know, I've been uh, in this area for more than 20 years, and I've seen several waves of interest in uh, speech recognition. And uh, the first wave that started in uh, 52, uh, obviously, I don't remember it. So, uh, but uh, uh, starting from uh, uh, the late 90s, we've uh, seen several uh, waves of interest in uh, dictation. In actually, in our field of speech enhancement for dictations, when it was considered like the bottleneck for the speech recognition, then we've seen this big splash in, in, with the introduction of Siri, when uh, we had... Uh, big, uh, you know, many requests for uh, speech enhancement in mobile phones. Then came the area of the, the time of automotive in 2012, after introducing uh, Ford Sync, there was many requests for, uh, for different companies uh, in, uh, for, for speech enhancement in automotive. And, you know, these waves uh, come and go. And, uh, and in 2016, after introducing Amazon Echo, we've seen again a big uh, wave of interest, and it's uh, continuing. For now, many requests from different companies, uh, semiconductor manufacturers, IP providers, speech recognition companies, product uh, companies for, uh, uh, for these technologies. So, uh, these devices are considered today as, uh, by, some, by some people as the next big thing, and that's... Uh, they, they, when they work, they really work very well. So many, many companies want now to copy these Amazon Echo devices, and you see this Google Home and Ding Dong. This is a Chinese company, uh, which is the device is pretty good. And we have lately, uh, recently announced the uh, HomePod uh, device from Apple. So people, ex uh, the user expectations actually are very, very high for these devices. Uh, these devices should be always on, listening, understanding, answering in all kinds of conditions. And the gold standard, of course, Amazon Echo, which works uh, pretty well. So, uh, can it be done? Uh, can these expectations be answered? Uh, we think that with uh, one microphone, it's just uh, you know, like uh, mission impossible. If we listen, uh, if we have a, a device in the, in the center of the living room, with uh, uh, pretty high reverberation and uh, TV uh, uh, set working and the device also producing some music, then the sound that the microphone will uh, uh, actually acquire will be uh, something like this. Does it work? So you heard the word Alexa in the in, in the middle, but any uh, actually keyword recognition system will have troubles uh, with uh, with uh, such uh, such environment. So. Um, 
can we do something to uh, alleviate, to remove, to uh, make the life of uh, speech recognition system easier? And that's where requests are coming to us, because uh, everyone understands that, that speech recognition cannot work efficiently such, in such conditions, especially considering that we are in the embedded world. We don't have these GPUs and all, all this power. We are in a, in a, in a, in a limited uh, power, uh, often uh, battery-operated devices. So uh, what we do, what we provide as a company, we provide technologies like uh, beamform, like uh, echo cancellation, stereo echo cancellation, because our devices are stereo. So we have uh, beamforming algorithms, some noise reduction, and actually the output of our technology goes to the speech recognition system. So uh, that's what we provide as, 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 as a company. This is our products. So if we uh, listen again for the input, we'll just uh, see what can be done with, with this input uh, uh, when we process them. So that will be, the, the, again, the input signal. Right, but when it comes to cloud, I bring and more in the way of wind weather, but at least the temperatures generally stay above freezing. So just by a, a stereo echo cancellation, we will remove uh, remove some uh, some part of the echo. Friday, but when it comes cloud air breaks to bring and more in the way of like so. weather, but at least the temperatures generally stay above freezing. So it is much better, but probably not enough. And this will be something that already recognized by by by. Friday, but when it comes cloud air breaks to bring and more in the way of like so. weather. But it's a real recording in a reverberant uh, living room with all these uh, devices on. So, does it really work? All this? Pro how how can how, how can this processing improve uh, actually keyword recognition uh, rate? And keyword recognition is the key uh, uh, key uh, mm, technology. Uh, or t key factor for these devices, because as soon as you have the keyword recognize it, you can uh, mute the, the music that devices produce. Today, with the connected world, you can also even mute your TV set. Uh, so you can do a lot of things, but first you need to react on that. So what can we do for keyword uh, uh, recognition? Uh, uh, does it really work? Can we improve it? So we did uh, uh, multiple tests. Uh, again, with the device on the test, on the table, in the real environment, with the mouse simulator producing the keyword, uh, different distances, and some uh, diffused noise produced by a loudspeaker that is uh, uh, turned to the wall uh, to produce the, 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 the diffused sound. So here are some results with the, uh, uh, with the uh, diffused noise. So this is the untreated, uh, untreated uh, um, one microphone signal, and uh, we see that this is the uh, the uh, si the voice level at the mouse reference points, which means three centimeters from the from the uh, mouse simulator, and we see that the results are, uh, drops uh, very fast with the distance and also with the uh, level of when the uh, speech level is reduced. And we see that the, the pre-processing can uh, significantly improve this, uh, uh, this result. So it's very consistent. We see that with the, with the distance, the, 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 results, the, the results becoming worse. But again, they are consistently improving. Now, this is what echo, 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 stereo echo cancellation can do also in these uh, conditions. We see this is the untreated one microphone signal. The echo, the echo is obviously pretty high, so actually the keyword, uh, the, the keyword uh, recognition doesn't work at all. Here we have one microphone case, and uh, we see that, uh, that the, the results were significantly improved. And with uh, using the microphone array on top, of the uh, of the echo cancellation helps even more, and we see also that especially it, it helps with large distances, with distances like uh, 2.5, 3 meters. We can we, we 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 improve significantly the the, the the speech recognition results. And in our case, of course, if we if we, in in our cases, this recognition by improvement by three percent. Yes. Define what you mean by hit rate because you have both hit false alarms. Yes. Uh, well, first false alarms in uh, with uh, with good. We use sensory uh, uh, speech uh, voice trigger, and the false alarms with it is really negligible. It's very very robust. 
So uh, it's a very good uh, uh, voice trigger, uh, probably market leader today. So we, we, we almost don't have uh, a false positive. So we also, we also uh, only have uh, uh, negative results. And uh, hit rate means from 100% how much is recognized. Uh, so, so it works. So what is the problem with that? The problem that I don't know where I am. Uh, when we have a beam forming, it is uh, uh, actually uh, pointing into some direction. But I don't know this direction. So uh, I cannot, and, and all kind of steering, automatic steering will not work because the keyword is very, very short. And when we don't know where it comes from. So this, the, the solution that we propose, and what, that's what we call system approach, is to have, to have uh, the beam formula looking into different directions and producing multiple beams. And then, actually, uh, what, uh, that's, this is just the example. Like this is the, the beam produced in the, uh, in the uh, uh, talker From direction. Above, when it comes to cloud over its spring and more in the way of like so. weather, further east, temperatures generally stay right above when it comes when to cloud over its spring. When we uh, go off angle, like so. weather, further east, temperatures generally stay above when it comes to cloud over its spring and more in the way of like so. weather, further east, temperatures right above when it comes Friday, but when it comes cloud outbreaks to bring and more in the way of like windy so. weather, further east, temperatures generally stay above freezing. So we see that, that uh, the, the, the beam forming allows us to uh, enhance the sound coming from, the, from specific uh, directions. So that's what we propose. We propose that we have uh, the, the, the package that we actually licensing is called voice enhancement package. And it has uh, multiple inputs, which are inputs from microphones, stereo echo cancellation, and, and uh, then beamforming, producing multiple outputs to multiple directions. You can define the directions. And uh, uh, basically, this is fed into the speech recognition system, which shall uh, work something like this. So we have this is our pre-processing block. Then we have multiple voice triggers. And actually, the trigger that provides us with the best score uh, uh, is considered as, uh, as uh, the, 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 trigger, the direction corresponding to the trigger uh, recognized with the best score is considered as the main direction. It's possible also to, to, to utilize the power of the, because sometimes uh, all, all triggers may, may provide um, relatively uh, uh, pretty similar result in case for in the quiet conditions, for example. Then we may choose the beam with the, uh, with the maximum energy, for example. The, uh, the, the triggers is better if they are synchronized. And this is already the work for war, uh, uh, keyword uh, um, recognizer uh, uh, providers. These triggers, it's better when they are synchronized. So that means, because sometimes a, a, the triggers recognize the, the keyword at different times and produce different scores. And these scores are pretty meaning, uh, meaningless. So uh, this is the request, like I said, request for the technology. We would like to have a, a block with multiple triggers that, are, uh, that use all the inputs and provide like the information about the direction and the score, but they do the decision uh, themselves. Then actually this is used as a switch uh, uh, for further speech recognition, which may be embedded command or network uh, recognizer. Uh, we wanted to bring a demo here, but uh, because the presentation is short, uh, we wouldn't have uh, uh, time for that. So we decided to use some video uh, recorded in, in our office, and I will uh, show you this uh, video now. Where, oops. Where, where? <laughs> Ruth. And I'm Robert. This is a demonstration of Alango's far field speech enhancement algorithms and software. The demo is a voice controlled stereo music player with built in four microphone array. The software integrates Alango proprietary voice enhancement package of software technologies, including stereo echo cancellation and far field beam forming. The output signal from the voice enhancement package is fed into sensory speech recognition software 
which is used to interpret user commands. So let's go through some commands. The system wake up phrase is hello blue genie. Hello blue genie, play music. Stop this world. Let me off. Hello blue genie. Next song. Hello blue genie. Stop music. Now we're going to introduce some ambient noise and run through the commands again. Hello, Blue Genie. Play music. Hello, Blue Genie. Next song. Hello, Blue Genie. Previous song. Now some numbers. So because we're in, 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 an, in, in the embedded world, uh, we don't have a, a supercomputer to run it. So just some numbers about the complexity of the, compu of the, of the computations. We need to do this pre-processing. So it's defined, actually, we, have, you know, we are in industry. We don't use uh, complex uh, uh, formulas. So our formulas are very simple. And that allows us to uh, you know, uh, compute the, the, the resources that we need. It's defined by the number of microphones which is M, and the number of, uh, uh, it, should be, uh, it should be N, actually. At the first, it's my, my fault. I just made this presentation yesterday night. So it should be N, and this should be M. So N is the number of microphones, and M is the number of directions. So with four microphones, we can create like eight directions. And uh, that's what we need, about 256 megahertz. And this is the amount of memory we need on the embedded device. With six microphones, we, ha we can have uh, a a six directions. Actually, this is the best. And uh, this are the resources. And with the maximum configurations of eight microphones in eight directions, uh, then these are the resources with about 400 megahertz uh, on ARM. This is all for relevant for Cortex, uh, uh, ARM Cortex A9, which is the industry standard today for this type of devices. And... Uh, this is the end of my presentations, and please, uh, questions. Thank you. Considering you have both microphones and speakers, uh, have you tried, do you uh, uh, think it would be a good idea to play specific sounds in order to try and model the room impulse response or other convolutive or additive effects on the audio? Well, it is potentially possible, but, uh, uh, you know, for a consumer device, it will not be accepted. I mean, all rooms are, are different, so you cannot ask a, a, a user uh, to put a, a device in a fixed place and then ask to do some kind of, you know, a, a learning the environment, because the device may be moved the, the people around me move, and it will all change the impulse response very significantly. So it, it is possible in some environments, like cars, for example, where everything is more or less fixed, but in the home, uh, smart home devices, it will not be accepted by, uh, by, by users. Uh, I was wondering, uh, following the demo that you have uh, uh, showed, what happens when the person starts walking around the room? I mean... It's a good question. And uh, here is, well, first, um, what the, we assume, yes, we assume generally that uh, uh, the, the, the direction of interest is the direction of the voice trigger, okay? So then we say, okay, then we can, uh, uh, we know the direction. In most cases, uh, this is the case because you, when it's like speaking to a person, you are not running while 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 giving some command or, or, or even giving some requests to uh, to a network recognizer. You are not running around the device. 
in, in, in case this is the case, what you have to do, you have to, you, you have to actually either to run the same number of recognizers locally or to send multiple streams, and, uh, multiple streams to the network recognizer. We have no other choice. Uh, so it depends already. The, again, this is on the, the product definition. So uh, from our point of view, there is no problem. It, it's the decision of the, of the device manufacturer if, if it wants to support this specific scenario or not. Thank you very much. Thank you.